Hello, welcome back. I am Jag Thunder, and this is not really Minecraft, but it has to do with Minecraft. Today, I'm going to teach you how to mod the fuck out of it. Um, this does take the uh, the fun playability out of the game. So if you uh, you know if you're into you know playing with the mobs and actually digging your own shit, um, just just play the play the game normally. If not, and you just you know like me, I don't have a lot of time to to mine everything and 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 take the time to, to do all that I, I still enjoy the game you know this this actually makes it um, even more fun for me but I'm gonna teach you how to do that today so sit back and uh, let's get started okay first things you need to know are um, one always back up your files everything always 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 I can't say it enough back your shit up because if you lose it um, I don't want comments saying well I lost my my save files and this is gone and that's gone and this is fucked up and that won't load bullshit back your shit up how do you back it up real easy I'm running on win 7 and the easiest way to do it is to go to the run and type in percent app not a poopy app data percent alright this will bring up your roaming uh, folder inside your roaming folder is your minecraft folder this is where all your all your shit happens. Um, first thing you want to do is right click and you, whoops, first thing you want to do is right click it, bitch, right click it, copy it, throw it on your desktop. Okay, now if anything should happen, you have something to fall back on. It's got your original bin folder, uh, your saves, your texture packs, and, and all that shit. Uh, once that's done, mine's pretty big, I got a lot of stuff in there right now. Um, once that's done, you can uh, you can start start modding. If you've already done mods, then you have a basic idea of how to do this. If you haven't, this is your first time. Like I said, follow step by step, and you shouldn't have any problems. Back your shit up, um, and uh, now we'll uh, we'll clean this folder out. Um, I've read that you can just delete the bin uh, the bin folder, which has your Minecrafts in it, um, the executable jar files. Um, I've tried that and I haven't really had a lot of luck with it. So it's what I actually do is I actually start with a fresh download. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and delete this folder and um, and run the game and actually get it to give me a new folder. So hit your executable for your Minecraft. Um, we'll log in because it doesn't have any information now. And and you'll see we've got it's downloading all your packages, everything that you need. The first thing I do is I mod it, and then I put in my texture packs. Um, don't ask me why; that's just the way I do it. Um, so we can close that out for now. And you're going to bring up that folder again. Make sure it's all there. You're not going to have no saves or anything in here. This is a fresh, clean, fresh, clean install. Um, so the first thing that you want is is you're going to want mod loader and mod loader enables you to actually put put your mods into the game if you don't have it um, it'll still work but some of them won't work so you want mod loader first and you're also going to need winrar if you don't have winrar go and download it because without that you're not going to be able to do this minecraft your bin and then the minecraft jar file is the one you want to open um, you can right click it and open it with RINRAR. Mine's set up for double click. Um, that way I can just easily open it right up. First thing you want to do in here is delete this one right here, Meta Inf. If you don't delete this, um, you'll, you'll get a black screen when you start up and everything will be all fucked up and it, it, it won't work. So we'll fir first off, delete this. Uh, delete files. Yep, see ya. Gone. Okay, now uh, leave this open and open up your mod loader same way you can either right click it and open with winrar or just double click it um, and inside each mod you're gonna find class files your class files is what actually mods the game and those will go in here you can see there's class files over here too in the in the main minecraft folder so basically in any mod you're always gonna want to grab your class files like uh, clicking that shift click and hold them all and then just click and hold and drop them into the folder Make sure it says add and replace files and click OK. Now your mod loader is in. That's that's the first and most important one to get in there. Um, I also have uh, MC Patcher, X-Ray, Zombies, uh, Zombies Mod Pack, 
And I also, for this tutorial, am going to try to do better than uh, better than wolves. I haven't used this mod yet, um, but uh, we're going to try it. Um, next one, let's see. Let's do uh, Zombies Mod Pack, because that's the big one that I use, and that one, there's just a... Uh, something different that you have to do with this one. This one has a classes, config, and a source uh, folder in it. You want to get the classes first. So just like before, grab your class files, drop and drag those into the uh, the Minecraft folder here, or your Minecraft jar file. Add and replace files, okay. And now we're going to need, um, let me think, it's been a minute. Okay, class files, we need to go back. All right, back to this part here your classes. You're going to need the config. The config will be the, the uh, another important part of this mod that you have to have otherwise it won't work. So back in the roaming Minecraft folder you want to create a new folder and you want to name it mods and it has to be lowercase and it has to be spelled exactly like this. Open it and create another folder and name it zombie or zomb however you want to pronounce it doesn't matter just spell it like this and click uh, enter. Open up the zombie pack and now you want to go to the um, the config the config folder and grab everything in here, um, just, you know, just like we did before. Uh, and we're going to put all these inside of the zombie pack folder. Okay. Now once that's done, shit, I shouldn't have fucking closed that. That'll take care of your zombie pack and your mod loader. So that's what we're on right now to set up the zombie pack. Um, you need to actually go into that mod folder that we just put all that in. I closed it and I should have left it off. You're going to need the config uh, text file. Just double click on that and, and it will open like this. Inside are all your mods. Um, you, there's your fly mod in here. There's a cloud mod. Um, there's a cart mod. Building mod is one that I use. Um, to enable a mod in here, it, uh, just take this number sign and backspace and just get rid of it. Now the mod's enabled and you can use it. Um, B to, uh, to enable it and then there's some other shit. I, I don't even use that. You can figure all that out. Uh, the biggest thing in this one that I like is the digging speed. One to six. Five. Five is a good one for me. Whoops. Make sure that space is there. You don't want to you don't want to change anything in here the way the way it's set up. Uh, just just don't. The next one is your fly mod. Look for your fly mod right here and enable that. And once that's enabled, you want to change the F to something else because if you hit F in game, that uh, toggles your fly, uh, your fog. So I usually I usually make that P or something, and then EQ. Mine's actually J N and M, uh, but for this tutorial we'll do P E Q. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick note of that because that's not what I'm used to using. Uh, there's other things in here. Um, okay, speed. The speed of your fly. Uh, running speed multiplier. That can go up to 10. Vertical movement speed uh, up to 1.0. Uh, we're going to do 0.5. Uh, movement speed 1 to 10. That's how fast you actually move while you're doing it. We'll do half of that. Movement speed multiplier up to 10. We'll bump that up a couple. Uh, just play around with these numbers. I don't have an actual setting that I use that you know I've got memorized. Just just mess around with that until you find the speed that you like. Uh, the rest of these I haven't messed with. There's a sun mod, uh, wield, safe, recipe, weather, all kinds of shit like that. Um, so just you can play around in here and figure out which ones you like and which ones you don't. At at this point, you want to click it and save it, and then close it back up. And we'll go ahead and check just to make sure that that one goes in. You always do. As far as I go, I always load one mod at a time. Once that's done, I go in and check it and make sure that it worked. Because if it doesn't, if you add like six mods and you go to start it up and it doesn't work, you don't know which one fucking did it. Um, so you just start up a new, start up your game, new world, whatever. You can put your saves in later. All right, you got your fly mod, which was P, and you'll see in the in the left hand corner it says flying. So E and Q is your uh, well. It's, Okay, it goes up in your inventory. So you got to change that too. So that's why you check this shit. And Q takes you back down. Take it back off, just hit P and you stop again. Um, you can actually fly down on the ground and all that kind of good stuff. Um, as of right now, see, I can't dig. I can't dig real good with my hands. Um, so you put on building mode and you just you can just smash through blocks like they're, like they're nothing. 
and I think it'll go up to like 12 blocks maybe. Uh, you can actually get better than this on the single player command mod. Um, and we, I may get to that, I may not. This is probably going to get longer than I want, like fucking usual. But um, this one works pretty good, and this is what I'm using right now. And uh, we'll exit out of this here, and we'll pick up, and we'll add another mod. Okay, the next one that I like to use is Too Many Items. Too Many Items is the one that you see where when you click the inventory, it's got all, everything that you need uh, on, on the inventory screen, and you can just fill it up however you want. Um, same thing, you want to you want to go to the uh, your Minecraft jar file. This is where all your mods are going to happen. Remember this, so I'm not going to repeat it too many times. But I'm just because this is a tutorial, I'm you know I am going to repeat it. Download your too many items. Same thing, you open it up. All your class files again. We're going to drag them in. Click OK. Now you have too many items. Again, we're going to we're going to test this mod. Okay, we're back in game, and I have changed my fly mod so that I can actually not hit the inventory button and fuck it up. But now we're checking the too many, too many items. Hit E. If if you do not see the items on the right, just hit hit your O. The O on the keyboard brings up um, your inventory slots, and you can also save one through seven if you uh, have a certain inventory for. Uh, mine cards, a certain inventory for lava and water. Um, just click it and save it. I, I've, I haven't done that, so I don't know. Just try it out. Um, and then you have four pages of, of all the inventory, uh, all your shit in the game. If you want just one block, just just right click it and you'll get one block. If you want a full stack, left click it and you'll get 64. Uh, that's that's the most you can get. Um, if you shift click, um, you'll get 111. That will give you an unlimited. So it just it won't run out at all. So if you see, well, see why I'm I'm throwing it. The 111 keeps coming back, and it and it doesn't go down. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now. I was gonna show you. Okay, see how the 111 just keeps coming back. Um, Zomb uh, zombies pack actually does that too. Uh, if if you're in build building mode, this 64 will stay there. So if I'm in the building mode. And now I'm on the stone. See the 64 goes back. So you can have unlimited blocks in in either in either mode. It, it, it doesn't matter. Whatever's the most comfortable for you. Um, so that's how the too many items mod works. So now we'll go and install another mod. Okay, the next mod that we have installed is the X-ray mod. That's real handy for finding blocks, diamonds, and all that, which you don't need it because you have too many items now. But I use it for exploring um, and connecting like underground from one building to the next so I don't have to dig all over the fucking place to see where I'm going. You just click X on the keyboard and that lights up everything underground without uh, basic stones or uh, basic blocks like stone and grass uh, won't show up. And you can also see where there's, well, there's obviously probably water over there. But while you're digging it, it will not show water. So... Um, kind of be careful when you dig dig through that and you might might drown. Um, it also has um, a light mod so that if you're down deep, um, which oh, I already have it turned on, which is C, um, that, that turns on the light mod. That way you don't need any torches while you're digging and you can just dig around and see what the hell you got. Hit C, uh, turn C on and now you have light. Uh, also has a cave finder, which I don't particularly like. Um, because it's like the it's like the X-ray mod. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. I, I don't I don't use it because um, it just it just lights things up weird. But anyways, that's the X-ray mod. And now let's go try another one. Okay, the next mod that we're gonna try is better than wolves. This will be a first install for me. I haven't used it, so I can't tell you how to use it. Um, but I'll give you a link in the description where you can go and learn how to use it. Um, we're just going to load this one up the same way. This one has a lot of extra shit in it. Um, don't don't worry about these. You want the, uh, the Minecraft jar folder. Open that up. And then, of course, back to your main uh, .minecraft folder. And you want to grab all the class files. And also the, uh, the first two folders, the BW, BTW Mod X um, and the title. Uh, you want to grab those also. And we're just going to shift click like like we've been doing, throw them in there, click OK, 
and that one's installed okay we're back with better than wolves and I like I said I don't know how to use all the stuff in here but too many items also uh, uh, readapts to all the new things that you can use inside of uh, better than wolves I know you can use like lighted blocks and and that kind of shit um, like right here there's a light block with power there's a torch and let's grab some redstone redstone um, there's the companion cube millstone uh, hand crank uh, some of this stuff looked really cool I already looked at uh, some YouTube videos on this and I'll probably be trying this out later today maybe um, but the biggest thing is um, it, it can give you a lot more advantage in game to building things that you can't normally you can place smaller block trim blocks um, above the ground on columns like, so I'm not going to demonstrate all this because I don't I don't know how to use it I I just don't let's turn on the light mod now that we have that um, you gotta hit it twice and we're gonna try this lighted block bullshit and you can actually put a there it is you can put a switch or a button there um, I'm gonna fucking use this I like that shit so anyways that's how you do that and let's go and I always save my texture packs for last so let's uh, install some texture packs alright the next one that we're gonna be working with is uh, your texture packs um, your texture packs you can find them all over the place and just test them you know whatever you like um, I use the 64 kids like I said and the uh, LB realism and I try to keep my stuff organized too um, that way if something happens I can I can just roll back um, anyways you'll have your texture packs will also be in the uh, the WinRAR uh, folders and all th these are actually easier to install than anything else you'll just want to put those in your uh, texture packs right here in the roaming file just open that up and I make copies um, just like I said so I have backups and just place them in here and place it in here close it out some of them are uh, high def or um, a high detail I don't really want to say high def but they're high detail and they'll need what you uh, what's called MC patcher uh, this is the latest one 2.1.0 um, your standard text texture packs probably won't require this but um, the ones that I run do so I'm going to show you how to install that just double click on it okay from here you can actually use this to load other other uh, mods in the game I, I've seen people do uh, I don't use it for that um, just make sure your H HD textures is checked, HD fonts checked, and also better grass. And then just click patch. And that's it. Um, close that out and then go in game. Alright, to change your texture pack, obviously right here it says mods and texture packs. Click on that and now the texture packs that you have installed or put in that folder will show up here. Just click it, highlight it, it will automatically change and this is the 64 kids and this was pretty cool so anyways there's um there's all your mods and uh, texture packs and how to install them all in one video this is probably gonna be a long video but it has every damn one in one spot and you don't have to look all over the place and I'll put the links in the description for all the mods that I've showed you how to use today and I hope this helped you uh, remember to rate comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one later